Hey there lovely friends, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of our creative exercise series. This is a series I'm taking on this year wherein I am diving into a creative book and using the prompts in this creative book to um, put it into my scrapbooking and see if it ignites something new and um, something exciting for the way I am currently scrapbooking. So for this prompt, the, the prompt is from April 26 and it's fads versus trends. And this is what it said. The pet rock was a fad because it arrived at the perfect time meeting a cultural moment. However, there's a difference between a cultural moment and a trend. A trend is a series of cultural moments that point in a specific direction. Often, they begin in smaller pockets before going mainstream. Pay attention to fads, but don't chase them. Instead, scan the horizon for patterns of cultural moments that could signal a trend. So, I really like that, like the definition or the differentiation between fads and trends but to be honest with you I didn't have time to pay attention to what are the trends going on right now to be able to kind of like you know watch the horizon for the trends so what I did was the lazy way and googled it what are the craft um, industry trends and so I found this one blog post and if I remember I will link it in the description box below but this person just kind of listed all of the trends that they feel like it's going to happen in 2024 and here are some of the lists that from that blog post um, disc ball awning stripes butterfly snails and beetles colored glassware uh, condiment uh, condiment core little fishies fruit salad strawberries hair clips and claws moody florals super puff bows and some of the color trends are pink orange peach teal pink red gold cream soft black blue teal orange gold brown rich green and scrungy greens so I, you know, of course, I'm not going to do all of those things on the list, but I was looking at it and I was thinking, you know what, I can incorporate the trend of butterflies, colored glassware and moody florals. And of course, some of the colors that was mentioned there. So let's before I go on into the ideas that I have for this particular layout, I'm going to tell you that these layouts are of a one of the my favorite places that um, I used to take my kids to when we were living in Southern California. This is the Cerritos Library, and it's just, um, it was like 10 minutes away from our house. We didn't live in Cerritos because we didn't have money for that, <laughs> but it was very, very close to um, where we lived, and we were here pretty much once a week because that's how much we love the library then. And it's also because this place has a lot going for it. It's not just, you know, with books, but it also has a lot of, um, like, the kids really love the computers. And then um, when it gets hot outside, they have a fountain um, outside. And I would always take my kids here in the summer because it's free. Like, they can play in water and they get, get they can get cooled off without us having to pay for for getting into a pool so it was one of our um uh, weekly places that we visit and they also used to have like this really um big tree but it was kind of gnarly because the the trunk kind of kind of instead of it growing tall it kind of went sideways so the kids love to climb that tree. it was just a fun place to be in it it was all free so we like that but anyway so if you look at the pictures you will notice that there was a lot of greens because it did we we did go through the garden there um so it has a lot of greens and and um it, it also like the the ground also kind of resembles kind of a peachy color and so that's the color scheme that I'm going for and the vibe and so I had this paper that had those moody florals and uh, I should say a paper pack that had those moody florals and so that's what I was pulling papers from I also like that this paper collection which I got from Goodwill um, 
but it was a recollections paper collection so it was from Michaels it had some gold tint to it too which I thought uh, was really cool and it reminded me of the signage for the for the library so that kind of all blended with my photos I mean the the paper pack that I used blended well with the photos that I have here. And then another thing that I decided to do was butterflies and I'm going to use that as an accent. Now, the this actually this layout was based off of a single page sketch um, from Allison Davis and she made this for Scrapbook Generations, the magazine. And I think it was from their winter 2023 um, edition. It was a single sketch where picture the right side. So it was kind of like that where all the photos are on one side and then you have these strips of paper and then it had some circle accents on the bottom of those strips of paper. And so I really liked that and I thought, oh, it will work, it will work well with the existing photos that I have. But of course, I had more photos for a single page. So what I did was I used the same sketch, but I am um, flipping it 90 degrees. Is that right? No, 180 degrees so that... I'm trying to think if I'm saying it right, but I'm flipping it to the left, wherein um, it's kind of like a mirror type of layout. But instead of the circles being on both of them on the bottom right, on the left will be uh, left, top left, and then bottom right. You will see it at the end. Um, but anyways, that's kind of the idea that I have for this. And like my previous layout, I had really, like, I had fun with this layout. I, f I feel like the prompts that really ignite me are the ideas of, like, looking outside of myself to get some inspiration, like thinking outside a box or doing something that I don't normally do. Like, if you've watched the previous one, I talked about um, um, experimentations and sometimes like you know you get into a rut like oh, I just want to finish a page so you just kind of do your thing and you don't really like experiment and I really that was really something that I want to take on more is to do some more experimentation so you didn't see me cut out all these circles but you see that I had a nesting nested circle die set and I just cut a bunch of the papers again from the same collection and just you know bunch of cir circles in different sizes and I'm just putting them together you know a clump so that I can have some kind of a mirror there now the another um, prompt was uh, well for the trend was moody florals so I had to feel like I had to add some florals in there and I just hand cut that from the paper collection now here is where I'm doing the colored glassware because remember I said that that was one of the things that I wanted to try and so of course instead of using glassware on my layouts I decided well if you talk about colored glassware it's just basically talking about like translucent right because um, I think about those milk glasses back in the day or those um, green type of um, glassware and I think about how they are they are glass but they are they have a little hint of color in there so it reminded me of vellum so I pulled out some little uh, smaller vellum packs that I have and then I pulled them out and just picked a few of the colors and then I am cutting out some butterflies from them and again I love how this layout turned I love how all of the accents just kind of work together and I think these trends are are good trends so if you are interested again uh, I'll try to link the blog post here and I challenge you to try on some trends look at the fads but don't really you know put all your money in there or bank on all those fads but do follow the trends thank you so much have a good day bye